Before COVID hit, I was doing outside private pay for elderly clients. Since COVID, I basically had not been able to go out because I feared for my children's safety as well as my mother's. It's been hard enough for disinvested communities to deal on a day-to-day -day basis, but COVID-19 really knocked everybody off their socks. Families that were already facing crisis on multiple levels had those crises exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The situation has made everything that was already bad worse. We think that throws us all into relief. Now we can see how bad things really are and can be. Hours have been cut, but I'm still doing the bartending thing at least two to three times a week with height and sanitation. I went to school for uh, 10 months and studied to become an electrician. Several other companies I tried to apply for, apparently they're all out of business now. I was actually about to start to be a manager. I reached it this year and then it collapsed. When you have something like COVID-19, rob you of the marginal success that you're experiencing. It's devastating. For low-wage workers, it's even harder because they're facing evictions. They're facing losing their job, losing their daily pay without unemployment because they happen to be undocumented workers. People are, are feeling worried as they look to the future. They don't know what to expect and they don't know how to plan for it. They're trying to have me do all these other things for the same pay in the same eight to 10 hour workday. With COVID going on and the hiring freeze, it's like you really can't say anything. There are so many workers with low incomes, especially communities of color, that are forced to expose themselves to the virus for a paycheck. And that's if you're lucky and still have a paycheck to earn. You could get replaced like this. Say one wrong thing to me, you're fired and I could get, there's a whole line outside the door who wants your job. If we empower people and organize them to take direct action in their workplaces, in their communities, they will be empowered to decide and become the deciders on the way that their workplaces and communities are operated. What we need is resources to get to the ground. How do we get the resources to those communities to be able to protect, defend, and empower um, residents to weather the storm? We will not only respond to the challenges of the current day, but we will be able to provide infrastructure and sustainability to our small businesses within the region. Businesses are now talking about recovery and how are we going to recover post COVID? It's going to need a new type of workforce. The future workforce is the workforce that we're seeing being built by by us at the Digital Nest. I'm hopeful we will continue to connect with the communities that need the most assistance and provide them with opportunities that can help them change their own lives. Things that we didn't think we could achieve, we're achieving. We didn't think we could implement distance learning the way we did for years and years. We were able to figure it out in a couple of months. Just think if we have more time to spend on this and more resources to make it grow and be better, we're gonna be able to meet people where they are, especially adult learners. We have to connect workers to their higher vision because we are people. We are people that are not just about surviving, but about the world that we wish to see. Let's rethink how we get closer to the ideals of our democracy and how we bring people out of poverty and allow them to unleash their power and do what's right by their families.